for refusing to answer questions following his speech on Afghanistan. Listen. President Biden is the one that needs to be held accountable for what's taking place in Afghanistan today and anything that befalls the United States as a result of the decisions he made on the way he executed this withdrawal in such a hasty, unplanned way that, that upended so much of the good work that had already been done. Here to weigh in, a Florida congressman and member of the Homeland Security Committee, Carlos Jimenez. Congressman, thanks for being here. You heard the reporters try to ask questions, but they were shot down. Biden failing to answer how this happened, why the withdrawal was so poorly executed. Can you elaborate? Can you extrapolate? Do you have any sense as to why this was so poorly handled? It's just the history of, uh, unfortunately, the, the political history of, of Joe Biden. He just makes wrong decisions all the time. So this is just another example of uh, disastrous decisions that he's made in the first six, seven months of his presidency. Look what's happening in the southern border. It's a complete disaster, completely overturned some really good Trump Trump era, you know, uh, policies down there. First day in office, he uh, wipes them out and then invites everybody to come in. And so you're getting hundreds of thousands of people flooding across the border. He shuts down the pipeline, the XL pipeline, and now is begging o OPEC to produce more oil. So he kills the American oil industry. And then he asks OPEC, which, by the way, includes Venezuela, uh, and uh, and other communist nations right. uh, as part of the as part of OPEC to please produce more oil because we need to get our gas prices down and now this debacle in Afghanistan is just the latest example of his poor decision making skills and uh, and making and and who who suffers the American people suffer and uh, and that's uh, and we're looking at another example of you know Joe Biden's incompetence uh, in uh, in this era. From his time as president to his time as vice president, a new report that a Taliban leader was freed from Guantanamo Bay in the Bo Bergdahl exchange in 2014 by the Obama administration. Let's pop up the picture. Before we show the wrong picture of the individual, this is the right guy. Again, the mastermind of the Taliban takeover, that guy right there, a former Gitmo detainee swapped out for Bo Bergdahl by Obama. What happened to the promise by the Obama White House, of which Joe Biden was VP, that swapped prisoners would be sent to Qatar and kept from causing trouble in Afghanistan? Another false promise uh, of the previous administration, and now we're going to pay for it. Look, Al Qaeda is uh, very much intrinsically involved with uh, with the Taliban. Uh, they have very. They have uh, Al Qaeda leaders that are, you know, are part of the leadership group of the Taliban. We're going to be hearing more and more about Al Qaeda. They, they're claiming this to be a victory. Uh, they're going to use it for um, you know, to, to get more and more fighters to come to their cause. Now uh, Afghanistan is going to be the base uh, of terrorism uh, for Al Qaeda and other terrorist groups, and America is going to be much, much less safe. If you think this is a problem that is just some overseas situation that we don't have to worry about it, think again. Experts warning of another potential 9-11 attack. President Biden, of course, standing by this withdrawal, insisting the U.S. can confront a Taliban, like you mentioned, an al-Qaeda-linked Taliban terror threat. Take a listen. We have made it clear to the Taliban, if they attack our personnel or disrupt our operation, the U.S. presence will be swift and the response will be swift and forceful. Congressman, as a member of the Homeland Security Committee, how confident are you in this Biden White House to keep the homeland safe in light of how it handled the situation in Afghanistan over the last week? Look, they're not keeping the homeland safe right now. I mean, look at what's going on in the southern border. You've got uh, thousands of people crossing, many of them with the COVID-19 uh, variant, uh, the Lambda variant, a new variant. It's, uh, you know, past the Delta variant. Uh, and uh, you've got, we know that there's terrorists coming through the border, you know, right now. And so what, the, you know, their policies right now, apparently it's more about ideology and it's not really about safety. And so I have zero confidence that that the Biden administration keep us safe. I have zero confidence, really, even in the uh, director of Homeland Security, you know, those uh, leaked uh, audio of what uh, what he really feels is going on in the southern border is completely different as what he reports to Congress. And so, you know, I have no confidence in, in any of his briefings with us as to what's going on in the southern border and also what they're going to do about it and how they're right. going to keep America safe. And so, yeah, I have very, very little confidence that uh, that this administration can keep us safe. And considering all 
all this, the burden on our Intel services has just been increased to an mm -hmm. incalculable degree. Congressman Carlos Jimenez, thank you for your time this morning. It's my pleasure.